One problem the government has is when they try to make things available, none of it is usable. Searching and searching, searching through websites created in 1996. Congressional hearings are held 12, 15 times a day. If you're rich and lucky and live in Washington, D.C., you can attend that hearing. Reams of printouts, a big oversized piece of paper with the holes down the side and the alternating blue and white stripes across the thing. Behind me is the U.S. Department of Labor. We are actually going to go in to find information on pension plans. You can only get them in this building or filing a FOIA request. So these forms aren't available online to look at? No. I don't even know how I would look at this, to be honest. You can't keyword search this. Transparency is the search for truth in your government. Government transparency means that the people who work for you tell you what they're doing. I don't think an event is public unless it's on the internet. Public information these days means online. Government needs to open up the floodgates to allow people to have access to their information. This is public record. Give us the data now. One of the huge benefits of transparency for the Congress is that they don't have to do everything themselves. They can get people like Sunlight helping solve problems for them. The Sunlight Foundation, who has made the quest for transparency a full-time job. What Sunlight's been facilitating is our access in. What are the tools, the widgets that people can use to organize people around a particular issue? Online transparency creates a whole new army of people who can do their own research, follow along as things are happening, and understand it a lot better. It's returning to the days of we the people, and that's what this is really about.